Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Today I've had something a little special happen. <laughs> I just did this entire video. I'm talking over an hour with no volume. And I'm right now making sure my microphone is working. So here's what we're gonna do. I was thinking, how can I turn this into a positive? Because that's what you have to do. What do they say? It's not about what happens to you, it's how you react to it. So instead of throwing a fit and not doing it or waiting till tomorrow, I want to do it because luckily I had everything still out here. What I did do so everything could charge again, I went and got my lunch, my Diet Coke, my McDonald's, and I thought we would freshen up my makeup. And I'll show you how I do that when I get back from lunch and all of that good stuff. Okay, here's my mirror. So I wanted to show you, you can see on my nose where my sunglasses left a little mark on my nose. So I've already flossed my teeth and brushed them. What I would do first is I would just take the sponge that I used for my foundation this morning and I would just do the best I can. It's not gonna look like it did, but I can get it just decent looking. And I don't want to put on more makeup. I prefer just adjusting this the best that I can. So I want to redo my lip. So one of the things I got this week, and I'm gonna try so hard to be happy and cheerful, but imagine you had the best news to tell someone and you had so much good stuff to show them and then you have to do it again. It, it's never the same. I tried to take a picture when I left here of these sunglasses I was wearing and you can just see in the picture and I was like, there's no sense in even trying because I am someone you can like see it all over my face. I'm just not good at putting on a good face. Anybody that knows me and you guys know me by now, you'll know when something's wrong. So that's why I came clean with you and I told you, even though, and this is another thing, another little lesson, it's my fault. It's my fault because I should have been checking the recording on my camera. One of the chargers that my microphone plugs into had gotten unplugged from my computer. It just happened. It probably happened when somebody was cleaning or something. Anyway, so that's another lesson is I'm not going to blame anyone. So we're gonna go on with it, but I felt like I needed to tell you. Okay, so this is a lip liner that I have had before from Freeze Co Beauty. It is the Fit Glow Beauty in Root. And I think this was one of the things that fell prey to my massive cleaning out when I moved in this house and I missed it. So she was nice enough to send me another. And this video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm just lucky enough to know her. Okay, so you can see what's left of my lip combo. I'm gonna go lightly. Because I already know that I have some, I'm gonna go lightly over it like that. And I really think that you could use chapstick with this lip liner. I think it's that good. It is just one of those colors that mimics your lips and a little bit of a shadow. So it makes them look really full. I really like it. But she was nice enough to send me three lip glosses. These are the Fit Glow. It's kind of like the night serum that I have. It's in Go, Root, and Halo. And all of these are just really pretty. But in my first go round of this video, I really wanted to put this on, but I already had something else on. So let's try Halo right now because it's really a cool color. <laughs> and it is really a cool color. So let's see what it looks like. These glosses feel so good. They are like skincare for your lips. Now they're not like City Beauty. They're not as sticky. They're not plumping. They're really creamy and velvety feeling, but they feel good for your lips. And they, they make them look bigger by just smoothing your lips out. So that is just a cool neutral tone that I really like. So that's Root Lip Liner and Halo Lip Gloss. And then she was nice enough to send me some new eye creams because I have become an eye cream connoisseur. I'm looking for the other one. I had all of this stuff like put over there on my counter and John helped me bring it over, bless his heart. Okay, at this moment, I cannot locate the eye cream that I used this morning, but I asked her for a good one. Now she sells medical grade skincare, but you don't have to have a prescription. So this is things you might not have heard of unless you're a skincare fanatic and I'm really not. So she sent me this one for the 
nighttime. It's called Vital Eyes, and this one is for fine lines, wrinkles, and detox, melatonin, and caffeine. So this is going to be your nighttime. It has a really cool little wandy thing with it. So you can get some and kind of massage like up under your eyes. Wow, that's so cool. Literally cool. That must be the word of the day. And then it is a cream like this. And then the other one she sent me is more for daytime. It's more of de-puffing and dark circles and all of that good stuff. So I'll be trying those and I'll let you know what I think is the best. She sent me one a while ago that I'm using now. I'll put a picture in here and she said that one is more of your one and done. So I've got a nighttime, a daytime, and a one and done. And I will list those down below and I do have a discount code that she shares with me for you guys. Okay. Oh my goodness. In my video before, I did three different outfit changes, all from Zara. One of them is this outfit that I have on, which is the same pants that I showed you a few weeks ago in my Zara haul, and I had purchased them in the small. Well, this time I got them in the medium because I wanted them to be like a little bit more flowy. I'll put a picture in here of the small and how it fit, and then I'll put a picture well, you'll see, because the B-roll I'm gonna be using, it, I may be talking, but trust me, there was no volume. So I love it. I love this outfit. John loves it. I think it's amazing. Oh, just inexpensive. I think it's gonna go into the fall. I think it's gonna look so good with a faux fur or a blazer over it. Just love it. I think Zara is known for good sets and I've always bought lots of different sets from Zara and I love them. So I really love these and I think you would like them too, even if you just got the pants. And if it cooks you out that a little bit of my stomach is showing, put your big blazer over it. Put a big even a cool vibey long cardigan sweater. I'm actually shopping now for us some good long cool girl vibey street style looking long sweaters to wear, cardigans, and some good faux furs. So those will be coming soon. Okay, I got this pink sweater. It's not even buttoned up where I like took it off and threw it over there, but so pretty. Oh, I just love this so much. It's so good. You have to get it. I was so excited, you guys. I was like so pumped to show you everything today. And then I reordered these pants in the small. So glad I did. Now I don't have to push out my stomach to hold them up because I'm bad about that anyway. But these are the grandpa pants in this color. No pleats, just pockets. Okay, now I wanted to show you my monkeys that I told you I had from childhood. These were at my parents' house and my mom gave them to me. And the other day when I showed you my white ones, I mentioned these and I could not remember where they were. Well, now that I've been doing some redecorating and working with a stylist for my home, I was looking for some things for my new coffee table. Do you guys see it? I'll try to take a picture and put it in here. And I was going through like some different things I had over there, like my books and my box and all of that kind of stuff and I came across these. So just wanted to show you those. I mean, this video really, if it could have happened to any video, this might've been a good one because this is just us anyway. I think it's mostly my subscribers that watch this video. Okay, another thing I got for my coffee table is I wanted some cool coasters. John has already been eating on it, which that's what I want him to do. But the other day he like took all this stuff over there to eat and I was eating up here at the counter. And I said, you might want to put a napkin underneath your plate. <laughs> I don't want to be a nag, but whew. But these are some new ones. They look like this. Oh my goodness, there's so many good ones. They're on Amazon, and I ordered these from the Jonathan Adler website. These are new. There's all kinds of good ones, like the Tigers, all of that stuff. I just kind of liked, what is that kind of like 60s and 70s design? That's what I liked about it. I love that kind of retro feel and I loved the colors. Each one is a different color. And I've actually been doing a lot here around the house. My bed has changed so many times. It is, I've been obsessive. You know, I always thought I wanted a Pottery Barn bed. Like I thought I wanted the most. I wanted every pillow, 
every blanket, two duvets, all of that stuff, and that's what I did, and I did not like it. And you know what, that's life. I think a lot of us go through that. You think something's so great until you finally do it, and you're like, no, that's not so great. So that's what I decided on my bedding. So I'm totally redoing that, and I've got just, you guys, the most amazing art ever. I That is where I chose to spend my money when I have been doing this, and I'm so thankful. And I want to share all of it with you. I'm not gonna wait until I'm totally done because whoever is, but I want to wait until I hang my big piece of art here. I just got another fabulous piece of art for my bedroom. We hung my big, amazing art over my bed, and then I have another piece that's coming for my breakfast nook. So let me do like maybe one room at a time, but please hang on because it's unlike anything I have seen on YouTube. I will be honest. Another thing with Zara, and you guys, I'll never recapture the excitement I had with this with you guys. This is a new bag that I got from Zara. It is amazing, let me count the ways. First of all, the size. Second of all, the color. So practical. The pocket on the inside, the little, slip outer pocket it has here. Snap closure, but look at this, customized. And you do get to pick whatever color you want. I think this comes in more colors, but I think I've told you that when I get a faux leather bag, I really like getting a light color. And then when I get a ex really expensive real leather bag, that is when I get the darker colors. That way I don't have to worry about them getting stained. With this one, I can take the magic eraser and get stuff off. It also came with this strap so that if you are not into the web strap, you can use this one. You guys, this bag is fabulous. I am praying it's still available. You need it. I'm just telling you, you need it. I think it was like 50 bucks. You're gonna love it. Like I could not wait to show you that this morning and <laughs> sorry. I'm having a hard time getting over it. Okay, sleep mask. Here are a few I have in my drawer. I also like the Nod Pod that's weighted. That one's good for a nap where you're kind of just like chilling out. Like when I take, I don't even take naps anymore, but when I used to, I could stay on my back the whole time and you kind of stay in that REM sleep. That's what that one is good for. But for your down and dirty, flipping and flopping, all over the bed, you know I'm serious about it. You have to have the right pajamas, you have to have the right pillows, you have to have the air down to at least 68. When you're getting in your sleep groove, <laughs> this is the one I like. This is my Whoopi, my Whoopi sleep mask. Well, I thought it was Sleep and Glow. So I asked them to send me some, and it's not that I don't like them or appreciate them, but these are my Sleep and Glow, you can see little bit of mascara flex there. And I do like these. When push comes to shove, here's my Barbie one. This one is silk, no slip. So, I mean, I know what I'm talking about here. When push comes to shove, I love this one. I was thinking, why? I think because it's thinner and smaller, it stays on my eyes better. And this might be because my eyes are deep set and small, I'm not sure. And it just, I love it. It's just thinner and better. So I did order another one. Look at this. I didn't wanna use it till I showed you. This is from Lily Silk. That's why I got confused because I love Lily Silk products, did not realize they were on Amazon, and I love Sleep and Glow. So I did get that, but I just kinda wanted to clarify that because I made a mistake last time I was talking about it. Okay, now makeup. So much makeup, you guys. I'm feeling it. And I think a lot of the reason is I like makeup a little bit more in the fall and winter. It just seems like I have more fun with heavier makeup. So what I have on today is a palette I just purchased from Ulta. It's called the Big Ego Palette, and it said that it was a TikTok viral palette, but when I saw the purple, that is when I picked it up. So that is what I have on my eyes today, and it was my first time using it. Next time, I will probably go in a little heavier with the purple. Purple is my go-to shadow. Before I did YouTube, my crease color every day was purple, and I loved it. So that is like my favorite color. If I had to choose another color for colored eyeshadow, it would be that murky green, kind of like that Zara other outfit like this. 
and then blue. So this is a winner. I love Tarte eyeshadows anyway. And then along with that palette, this was a viral product and it's the Tarte Blush in Energy. It's one of those that's supposed to be skin intuitive. So I have it on today. Keep in mind, my makeup has been on now for about four hours. So what you see is this blush. I love it. I love cotton candy, bubble gum, baby doll, Barbie pink blushes because they make your cheeks look fuller. It's something about the dimension. They just, every time I put these on, my cheeks look a little bit more full. Okay, another thing I ordered from Ulta because I shopped there two or three times and I placed an order. Bare Minerals Highlighting Blush in Rose Glow. I've learned that anytime I get something like this, the rose is the shade that I end up liking more than the whitest, whitish shade and more than a bronzy shade. I usually like the rosy shade and this is very pretty. I cannot wait to use this soon. Okay, Pat McGrath. I've got Pat McGrath boxes everywhere that I showed you earlier. They just started carrying Pat McGrath at my Ulta and they have, they kicked KVD out, I believe, and they've got a full row of Estee Lauder, which I'm loving. My Ulta has gotten so good, I do not even miss having a big Sephora that much. I would like one, but I think we will eventually get one. So from Pat McGrath, I got two of her lipsticks in these precious little tubes here. And one of them is what I was wearing earlier. So I think the nudie peachy one. No, you'll see me put this on probably in the video. And then this one is the one I had on earlier. It's a nice peachy one. These are good for those of you that like a kind of sheer, similar to the MAC Luster Glass lipsticks, where they're not so milky and opaque that they're too much. These are kind of balmy and sheer. I really do like these. Then I got her palette, the eye palette in Divine Bronze. And then I got her blush. I love that, that blush palette that I have from Sephora in the highlight. So I know how much I love her blushes. This is one I haven't seen before and the name is Cherish. And look how pretty. It's that same baby doll pink. I love it. So I'm gonna be using these things soon. And I kind of talked about this a little bit the last time I did this video. Makeup is not really doing well on YouTube, meaning it doesn't get a lot of views. And I think because TikTok and Instagram have kind of taken over with the fast paced makeup, but I miss it. And I know a lot of you guys want to see it too, but making a full on makeup video is like, and then no one watching it or very few people watching it, it's kind of like cooking a very big meal with lots of intricate, like a couple desserts, a couple vegetables, maybe two meats, and you set the table and put place cards and four people come instead of the 20 that you invited. It's not that you don't appreciate those four people and you love them and you want them to, to eat and you want them to love their meal, but that's how it feels. But I still want to make makeup videos. So please tell me down below, what do you want to see? Is there a celebrity makeup look that you want? Is it over 40 makeup favorites? Things I can't live without, like two products I used in my hair for today to make it a little bit brighter and smoother and just fluffy and easygoing. These are things I have purchased over and over. Maybe I'll do a video on something like that. So please let me know down below something I could do with makeup that you guys would like to see. That is what I want to do. I want to make videos that you that are with me want to see. So let me know. I did get the Pat McGrath eyeliner. It's what I'm using today and I loved it. It's got a good, nice, long, stiff point. I love it. It's good to do wings. And then I got two of her glosses. I tried this one on earlier. So let's do this peachy one and just see. This one is called Peach Perversion. I'm gonna put it on my hand so I don't mess up my wand here. And then the other one is called Bronze Venus. And that one is very pretty. I would say if you like Buxom Celeste, 
you're going to like this. Or if you like, I don't know, it doesn't have the same sheen as like San Diego or Purr. It do, it's more of a little bit of a sparkle. Oh, that's very pretty. Love these. And these smell good and feel good. No regrets. This, I about lost it when I swatched it for you earlier. It is something I ordered. It is a new Stila Sheer Stone Eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. It is so good. Watch this. Prepare to be amazed. To me, there is just no better color than a taupey, chocolatey, purpley, chocolate milk color. But I love it because it's a little bit of brown, a little bit of purple, a little bit of gray. Ooh, I can't wait to try that. So that's a good one. I got the new glosses from one of these I've tried. One I was, I purchased one of them twice accidentally, this peach one. The Maybelline Lifter glosses, so good. These are high-end quality all the way. Someone could tell me this was Dior, Chanel, anything and I would believe it. They're beautiful. Every color is gorgeous. I got bubble gum, gummy bear, and peach fling. Beautiful. Now these are creamy. No sparkle like Moonstone is my favorite, but these are beautiful. And I think there's one darker too. I think they added four or five new shades. I did get Laura Mercier's new highlighters. They're in the kind of squeezy tubes like the Charlotte Tilbury. That's just like the thing to do now. I got these in PR. They're the Rose Glow Liquid Highlighters. One of the reasons I knew I was going to like these is I love the powder highlighters. The Rose Glow is my go-to. It's either that or the one in the Pat McGrath palette or Laura Mercier 01 matte highlight. But I ended up using this one today. I ended up putting it right here. I haven't watched it back to be able to see it. As soon as I saw there was no volume, I had to just get out of here and go eat lunch and shake it off. But these are beautiful. Love them. You know how I feel about Laura Mercier makeup anyway. Well, I'm going to do a video on my Lancome favorites because I love the new Lancome Tint Idol foundation. One of my favorites, one of my go-tos. And Lancome and Chanel, they're like more of nostalgic to me than even MAC because Lancome and Chanel were my first high-end makeups. And when I was in my 20s, early 20s, and I was married to my first husband, he worked with a lot of older guys and then I would end up being with their wives and they were wealthy. So they shopped at like Chanel and Lancome for their makeup and that's one of the things it's not everything because I can remember my first eyeliners my grandmother bought me at Lancome. So I had shopped there a little bit, but they got me more into it, like the skincare and everything. So I got Definacils. Oh, is anybody else like a Definacils lover? I got the little one because I like little mascaras better, but Definacils, that was my jam. And then this was one of my favorite blushes, the Meal Glossé. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it is just a natural go-to blush. This is like one of those blushes that you just use every day. Someone that just wants one blush for every outfit. This is it. Is that all of my makeup? My goodness. Okay, so now let's go on to some Lululemon. I was in Ulta. There was a girl at the benefit counter getting her brows done and she had these tennis shoes on, these sneakers. And she was in like a exercise -y type outfit, but I just, I was like drawn to them. And I went and asked her, what they were. I kind of liked this little part. It reminded me a little bit of some Fendi sneakers that I want to get one day. And they're Lululemon. So I asked her, were they true to size? And she said that she sized half up because she was a runner. On the website, it said true to size. I got true to size and they fit. So I haven't worn these yet because to me, these are not humid, hot weather walking shoes. For me, I still love my on clouds. But I'm thinking when it gets a little cooler, I want to, oh, and they just, they're gonna look so good with like little cropped sweatpants or if you have some cool uh, camo leggings or something, this pink color, love them. And then when I was in New York, one of the girls I was with from Captivate, she was young. I went to her room and she was changing clothes for us to go out that night. 
and she was saying how much she loved these socks from Lululemon. She said these are the best no-show socks there are. She said they're expensive, but they're worth it. And they have a little bit of like silicone, like back there on the heel. So when I was on the website ordering those, I went ahead and ordered these. I think that's it, you guys. I did get some more home decor stuff, but I think I will just save that for a home decor video and maybe a bedroom tour or something like that. I'm sorry if I was a downer, but things just happen, right? I just think how lucky I am. I'm lucky I even get to make videos. I'm lucky I even have this stuff. I'm lucky I have you here. So thank you so much for watching. I'll put all of the links down below and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.